Hey vlog, uh, this week I'm really excited because I'm going to be focusing on planning for 2022. Now, I then have a coaching session with my coach who's also going to help me figure out how we're going to achieve that together. And I'll try and give you some insight into that session as well so that you should have a sort of template or some ideas around how to plan your year 2022 and make sure that you achieve all the goals that you want to achieve the new vlog up guys and we got 400 subscribers let's go <laughs> I started this series thinking that I would get five viewers, five subscribers, nobody would listen to me and it was just a bit of a whim. But we've grown like a little family now and there's some regulars who watch this who I'm always in contact with that I love talking to. I've met some other great subscribers as well through video calls. And if I'm honest with you, I think this is one of the things that I'm proudest that I've started. Also vlog, I'm terrible at copywriting. But I found this sick site called copy.ai where you can put in the text that you want in a rough format and then it generates loads of different versions for you using AI, which actually reads really well and I highly recommend it. So today guys, I'm doing my, I'm doing my yearly review. I've never done one before, but the idea is, is to sort of figure out all the projects that we had, what, what we kind of did this year, what went really well, as well as that, look back at some of the data that I compiled over since May, figure out what I want to do for 2022, what the big kind of business goal is. And uh, yeah, as well as that, it's a real good time frame for reflection, then some planning. And I've never really done one before. So I'm going to first of all, look at some ideas online. I'm going to do that now. So I looked at a lot of YouTubers when doing this research so that I could compose my own template from a load of different things that I liked about their yearly reviews as well. So the main one that I took a lot from was Ali Abdul's yearly re reflection. I'm going to put a link to that in the description for any of you who are doing your own reflection and want to get a good video to follow. So I'm just spending some more time going through my calendar at the moment vlog. I'm looking at absolutely every single mum, just scanning. And then anything that I found interesting, I put into these columns. So this is my positives. This is my negatives. And uh, just got to fill these out for the whole year. Hey guys, so I did do my review. It took two days to put it together. I thought we could do something a bit special together. And that thing was to go through it together on my computer. So um, this is a view that we're not used to seeing in the vlog. But for now, let's go into the review uh, document and I'll take you through some of the learnings that I found this year. So here we are inside my review document and I'm just going to take you through how I structured it. So maybe you can do the same for yours. This year, the biggest thing for me guys was you guys creating like a bit of a family on YouTube. So I wanted to highlight the fact that YouTube was a big part of this year. I also wanted to try and give it a little bit of a subtitle, like a bit of a summary. What did I achieve this year? And for me, it was content and systems. Uh, you guys probably remember that in my weekly reviews, I always tried to put down a couple of things that I've done positively, any learnings as well. So what was interesting was turning all this data into word clouds so that I could have like a nice summary of everything that was positive and everything that I learned in the year. And that was just a cool way to summarize all of the data. I won't go through all my negatives and positives, primarily because I feel, don't know if I'm at that level yet where I want to share everything on YouTube, but maybe like next year's review, I'll, I'll show all of you guys. When you're doing your review, you should look through all of your calendar events and pull out anything that was positive or negative and put them in a chronological order. In this case, I had January, February, March, April, and then I also have the negatives in the same format as well. And then also go through your phone own. Look at the months from January to December and put that put any pictures that like really spoke to you. So for example, we were all in lockdown in my for my birthday. So we did a black tie event over Zoom, which was very funny. And here's a here's a great picture of um, my brother and I in black tie along with some other friends as well, which was very good. Here's where we started the vlog. Look at how different I bloody look here. I'm always amazed. I was so disheveled when I started the vlog and I mean the first episode is me doing weights in my in my garage. Yeah, this is this is really fun to do and you should do it in doing this negative and and positive stuff is to figure out the negative stuff that kept making you feel negative throughout the year. We're going to avoid that more in 2022 and look for the positive stuff and try and do more of that in 2022. Next was reflections. So, I asked myself like what was some of the people 
who had a big impact on my life, what were some of the experiences, accomplishments, things that I bought, all of these things, just kind of like trying to summarize little bits of my life that I grew in 2021. There were some really good reflective questions in here. Ali's video that I mentioned has most of these. The ones that I tagged on at the end were Tim Ferriss's about spending money and more specifically like what were the best things that you bought? How did they benefit your life? What would it look like if you bought more of those things in 2022? So the next part is to go into, into planning next year. In this case, I talk about like life, relationships and happiness. This is in Ali's template. And then business stuff as well. So in this case, something that my coach helped me figure out was when you're talking about your business goals, you need to write them in something that's more tangible. So uh, I want to get a hundred thousand pounds next year. You can't actually control the outcome of that. So it's not a very good goal. Instead, it's better to say something like, I'm going to contact 50 businesses a month for the next year. That way you have something more tangible to focus on and measure rather than I'm going to try and get 100 grand a year. I also really liked the, the 2022 bucket list that he wrote about. So I would like to learn a new musical instrument. I'd like to go on a skydive maybe. And these are things that I can just be aware of that I would like to do. Just close this. Finally, we have the doing table. So this is to make sure that you actually do these things. So you want to write down the different things that you want to achieve. You need to state why. You need to st have a smart goal to set it. You need to do a how surprised if I would be to fail. Your top re three reasons for failing. Who can help me achieve? And how can I stack the deck to make sure I succeed? And then this is an interesting part, having an action step that means you have to do something straight away. So when I was writing about this flying to Bulgaria, my action step was to book the flight. So I booked the flight right, right there and then. And that just that just pushes you forward. So if you have like going on a holiday here or like meeting up with an old friend, what's one thing you can do to start it in 2022 i think the biggest thing that you that will affect you guys is i want to try and create a free course to help you with starting your own agency and that will be out i guess mid 2022 but no promises just yet so guys i guess the biggest question of this year is how much did we make and i've got my quickbooks up on this screen and just looking at it we managed to hit $55,000 this year, which is an incredible number to hit. So what does it mean for 2022? Where do I want to take this channel? Pretty much the same that we've been doing, but with a bit more emphasis on tutorials and free mini courses on YouTube that can help you out. But I'm also opening up the box and I would like you guys to tell me in the comments what you would like to see moving forward. Now, if you would like more learning about websites, please tell me if you would like more about learning productivity, running an agency, etc. Please tell me, put it in the comments. I need to know because <laughs> it's what I'm going to be making next year. Obviously, we didn't hit our $100,000 target this year. That could, I could put it down to a number of reasons, but for me, the goal is to hit $100,000. So by hitting 55,000, it doesn't mean I'll give up. And that's where I want to continue trying to get to over the 2022 period. So moving forward, I've got a couple more updates which uh, in the next vlog in January, I'll let you know all about, including this vlog, what we're gonna do moving forward and how we're going to structure the content. But until then, I hope you all have a lovely Christmas and a lovely, lovely new year. And I will see you all in January for a new adventure. Until then, see you later, friends. Bye.